All right, good morning, day two, three. Um, and good news, we're getting six more inches of snow tomorrow. So I really gotta get a lot done today. Step one um, is to put the braces up for the bed platform. I wanna do that before I put the wall so it doesn't, you know, I do the wall and then it messes with that. So I'm doing those braces first and then I'll do the walls. So what I'm doing is drilling these big concrete thick boy screws through the wood, pushing it against it and hitting it so it makes a mark on the panel. Then I can drill through the metal, pre-drill that hole, and then power drive these through. And this thing is not gonna move at all. And it's also gonna have sideways tension from the beams. I've done it this way on all my vans. I've never even had close to an issue. Whoever didn't magnetize the tip of this should be fired. If you get a bad screw, throw it out. Don't put it back in the box. It's like when you get a bad pen. People use a pen, it doesn't work, and they put it back in the box. And then the next person gets a bad pen, throws a pen out. It's ridiculous. See, stick them all through just a wee bit. You wanna make sure you're going into um, like a thick part of a beam. On the sprinters, they kind of have a main one that you, it's kind of your only option. This is a little different, but it's not. Make sure it's a beam that sticks out. You don't want to drill through and then drill through the outside of your van or anything like that. So make sure it's going in a good spot and it's pretty simple. Alright. So line this up where we want it. You hit it and it makes the mark. And then all your marks are lined up. Then you pre-drill. The other thing you wanna make sure you don't do is have your holes where there's already holes. Obviously, but if you were following this and did that, you'd be like, damn. Check your holes. But with this in the wall and then the beams pushing into it, both directions, they're never gonna fall. I mean, this is, you are really, it's not gonna shake them loose. These screws, they they kind of pull the metal. The hole is so small, the pre-drill hole you want small, so that this screw goes in there and really, it grips in. All right, well, now those are in. So I'm gonna do the paneling on the walls. So I had a bunch of scraps from my last build. So instead of using the whole pieces, I used this find the curve. I'm holding it up, but that fits in there nice and snug. Um, also, so if you're building a van and you don't have a compass, get a compass. This is a an antique one. It's really cool. I really like, but point, pencil, change the angle. You can set things, follow your line and it gives you the perfect line. Essential, essential. All right, got those planks up. It's gonna be a lot of trim work and stuff to do on the whole van, because it's all weirdly shaped, but that's the main thing. I had to put a wood beam in the middle behind it attached to the metal first, because there is a gap um, to get that something to attach to. I can put a picture there, you know. I'm working on paneling this long wall, um, and I've decided that I'm gonna split these here 
Um, there's gonna be a tall cabin here so you won't see the seam. And then it'll make framing the window a hell of a lot easier. And I can stop working with these 10 foot pieces. And I also put these back beams in already. All right, finish that back section. And that back section, I'm gonna work on putting this floor. Not the bed platform, the floor. Let's do the floor. All right, I got this floor all clean. Um, it's got these ridges in it. So I'm gonna put little pieces of wood in those ridges, especially in this area where he's gonna be walking a lot. Underneath the stuff, it's not as important because the, the board's going over will be strong enough. But where he's walking, I really wanna reinforce it best I can. Um, of course, this gap is smaller than a half inch. So I can't just put half inch pieces there, but I'll have to cut down a bunch of wood to fit and put it in. So this is how I'm doing it. I'm taking half inch and you just take a tall blade on a circular saw and trim off the bit you need. So that when you put it back here, it's now flat. Well, that's a start. Need a lot more. Bang, bang. Lots of shims. So I got one piece of four by eight and it fits nicely and won't have any seams where he's walking and stuff. So now I gotta cut stuff to just fill in the edges. That's what Mike's here for. Hey. Finished up the sub floor, got all the pieces cut. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna glue it all down with liquid nails on all the ridges, but I'll do that at the end of my day and then put a bunch of weights on it and let it sit overnight so that it really adheres nice and good. All right, the sun's going down on me. So I got all the glue, had to take everything out, put all the glue back down, put everything back in, and then put all these weights. I also put those panels on and this panel on looking good good morning it's been a couple of days because it snowed again and it was really cold again um it's 30 degrees right now but it's gone up to 32 later this is where we've left off so first things first gotta get these weights off and then i'm working on that platform and the stuff underneath get the back half done that's the plan at least. We'll see how it goes. Weights are out. Time to get to work. Putting the bed in. So I got these three beams. Now, I'm gonna hang these. When you're building, you always wanna think how you're gonna attach the next piece. So I'm putting this beam, one piece of these off, so I can attach pieces to the front, and the whole face will have something to attach to along the whole front. Well, the other night, we heard somebody in the backyard, and by the time I went out there, they were gone, and there was footprints leading up to our shed and the neighbor's shed. I didn't think they stole anything, but they took all my drills. Used to be three more drills right there, or well, two drills and a reciprocating saw. Bastards, man. That sucks. But at least I get to buy a new drill. Not only did they steal the tools, I had a battery charger there. They took that too. 
the other thing you do is measure from the edge to where you're putting it on both sides so you know they're even. That one might be obvious, but in case it's not. That feels weak as hell. I don't think this is what I wanted. God damn it. Over here now. Yikes. This drill's an ass. Why was it more expensive than the one I had? Am I using it wrong? Thought I was just gonna get a nicer drill and it would make it get installing a little better. When I was helping build a van for my buddy, way back when, he had a piece of wood like this, and it didn't reach that back brace. And I rolled over to that, and it fell. And I went through and dropped my shoulder on a drill that was underneath, and separated my shoulder. So, be careful, don't do that. Obviously, we'll go all the way across, but another great way, no crates help you figure out where you want things. You know? Stop filming for a minute because my batteries got dead and I forgot to put the extras on the charger and I'll catch you up. So I boxed in both the wheel wells. That back wall, of course, everything's curved. Um, but that wall is going all the way up because that corner is where I'm putting the electrical. So I kind of want two walls so I can mount different things. And then there's no faces because once this whole face is on, that will attach. So try to build strategically so you only have one piece of wood next to each other. Anywhere you go. All right, been doing a bad job of filming, but this front face is cut. There'll be two drawers there eventually in the box and the cabinet. But that main piece is cut. And then all these structure pieces behind are cut as well. There's still snow everywhere. So this will be the back. And then this is this back piece because that's where the electrical is going in this corner. So that'll give me a nice corner to put that in. And then all that will be storage. All in there will be storage. You can mount stuff up on this wall. Starting to lose sunlight. I've done a couple more things that I'll show you. Doing a bad job filming today, but I've lost a lot of time with snow and people stealing my tools. So gonna have to give up on filming a little bit. But I'll keep you updated and give you, you know, the good tips. We got this box in here, the water jug, so you can quickly fill things up. And then we'll have a pop-up here, so you have a little outdoor kitchen with your water. Right, pretty cool. And then this will open up, and there's all that storage in there. Another bit of wood efficiency. That tall cabinet is going there, so there's gonna be a wall. So there doesn't need to be that section of wall there. So I cut it off and use it over there and then I have to buy more wood. Everything else is the same back there, but starting to look like some structure. 